One day, I was training martial arts when I heard a strange chat in the dojo. I had an awesome nightmare last night. And the best part? I was 100% lucid. Are you guys talking about lucid dreams? Yeah, have you had them? He has a ghost girlfriend he meets in his dreams. Whoa, is that true? I'm never sharing my dreams again, no. Why? Because when I share them, people think I'm crazy. You are crazy. And I better get out of here before that spreads. Be careful. Hold on, are you the kid that saved me from dog years ago? Oh yeah, I remember you now. I knew you looked familiar. You wanna go grab a hot dog? Sure. Thank you. So I'm here thinking, what if lucid dreams were like a multiplayer game? That would have been cool, don't you think? You mean like if we share the same dream? Yeah. Mm, the girl from my dream said she did it, so maybe it's possible. Whoa, what? Our friend said she dreamt about a voice and the girl from my dream said it was her. Did she claim it was her before or after our friend told you about the voice? After? Uh -huh. Fine, maybe it is my subconscious that's making this all up. But what if it's not? If we could share dreams, I think science would have found out by now. Not if the guardians don't want them to find out. Guardians? Are those like dream guides? Do you have one? I had one, but he doesn't show up anymore. I think he gave up on me. That sucks. But why wouldn't they want science to know? No clue. The girl of my dreams once told me the guardians were draining mana from witches to prevent them from levitating objects. It's like they don't want magic to exist anymore. Sounds like a conspiracy theory. Yeah, but no harm trying. Maybe they will let us share a dream as long as we promise to never tell anyone. Any idea how to share a dream? The girl said she did it by using a crystal as a bridge. I guess it could work with any object infused with our energy. Like a reference? Here, take my bracelet. Why are you giving me your bracelet? It got my energy on it. You just said you needed- Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that could work. So later at night, I tried to have a lucid dream, but I failed. Maybe I was too anxious. Then I spent the next day doing reality checks every 20 minutes or so, and at night, I finally woke up from a dream. Here we go, bracelet, help me to enter his dream. Huh? If that's my subconscious, I'm an artist. So I crossed the bridge, and at the end, there was a glass wall. It was pretty hard to see it. What are you doing? I think it was already broken. What are you doing here? I'm trying to enter someone else's dream. Okay, I. Wait, I'm kinda lost. <sighs> Any luck? Not yet, but I'm having progress. Here, take this. What's this? I was always with this toy during childhood. It must have my energy on it. So you want me to try reaching you? We only need one of us to succeed. I don't have lucid dreams that often though. Any hints? I'm not sure. Everyone has a different strategy that works best. Maybe try to be more self-aware. The times I'm most lucid is when I spend all day focusing on the present. That sounds like meditation. A few days later, I had another lucid dream, but before I could find the bridge, someone showed up. I heard you're trying to enter another dream. Yes, but I promise I won't tell anyone. I'll tell people it's fiction. I'm not here to stop you, human. No? Aren't you guys against magic? We were never against magic. I heard you guys were draining witches. Their spirits agreed to put their abilities to sleep. For now. Why? This is a new era, an era of science, and for science to progress, your world needs certainty. Does that mean I won't be able to live my dream? To enter someone's dreams, you need to be at the same frequency as the dreamer. Is this what all the bridge stuff is all about? Perhaps that's how you interpret, but you won't be able to change your frequency. Because of science? No. Because the girl you claim to like has cast a spell on you. What? As her guardian, I do not approve of her witchcraft. It has side effects. Why she doesn't listen to me? I came here to ask for your help. Maybe she'll listen to you. I'll talk to her. She's coming. What is my guardian doing here? I just heard you cast a spell on me. Snitching rat. So it is true. I'm not joking with you. You using witchcraft on me without telling me about it. I'm sorry. This is serious. And now I'm hearing I cannot enter other people's dreams because of you. Why would you do that? I just wanted to be with you. That doesn't justify casting a spell on me. If that was a good thing, I'm sure you wouldn't hide it from me. So why did you hide it from me? I thought you liked me. Why did you hide it? Why? Answer me! <laughs> F
Well, that was your fault too. Blaming others would only make this worse for you. Okay, I'm sorry. I told you what would happen if you made her cry. Give me a chance, I can fix this. And how do you plan on fixing this? I'll tell her I'm sorry I made her cry. That's not good enough. What should I say to her then? When in doubt, say nothing. Let your heart speak for you. I don't know how to do that. Yes, you do. Start with patience. I find patience the best virtue of all. Do you know why? Mm. Because of patience, you can in time acquire all other virtues. Why did she do it? Why did she cast a spell on me? To be with you. What do you mean? She locked you and her in the same vibration so that she can live inside the dreams. This is why she's always here. And why didn't she tell me? She was afraid you'd think she was stalking you. She feared you'd reject her if you knew the truth. And why are you against her spell? You ask too many questions, human. Witchcraft has a price. If she's here with you, she's not where she needs to be and this will balance her. She's losing energy here. If she stays for too long, it will corrupt her and you won't be able to be one with her one day. Let me talk to her, I can fix this. I'll give you a chance. You should be waking up by now, but my energy can keep you here lucid for a bit longer. So don't make me regret asking for your help. Wait, I don't know where she is. When she cries, she hides herself in the memories of a house she once lived. And somehow I know where that is. The heart never forgets. I wish you peace and good. I'm sorry I yell at you. I'm sorry I cast the spell on you. I'll remove it. No, I have to. I should have listened to my God and he said staying here would corrupt me. Is that what your heart thinks? My heart doesn't have the answer for everything. Then maybe listen to mine. It tells me you should stay. I ain't too afraid of me getting corrupted. Love always wins. Hmm, you speaking like the druid you once were. Since I first entered this house with my other self, it always gave me a good nostalgic feeling. I never really understood that feeling until now. My heart was remembering you. I was reading our story written in the Book of Life. We were very happy living in this house. There's no spell to time travel, is there? We can change the past. We can simulate it from memories, but you wouldn't be as happy as it was. Reality is always changing with the errors, and it needs to change to keep us happy. Our old selves who lived in this house had different personalities. We have changed. Then stay with me. Let us make a new story as good as the one before. You want to start a new story? With you. Always. But this time, without witchcraft with side effects. My witchcraft always has side effects. Then put it to sleep, just for this era. We don't need spells to make a good love story. Is that what you want or is that what my guardian wants? He's just trying to help. I've lost my guardian already. I don't want you to lose yours. Without my spells, I can't stop tragedies from happening. I won't let tragedies happen. No more spells. Promise? Okay, I promise. But I'm scared. Why? Every good love story has a tragedy. No, we can swim against the current. This is our story. We can change the pattern. No tragedy. Let's make a different ending this time. I love you. I love you too. See